while you're doing that rub, can I give you a rub? Sure, yeah, okay. I like that. You're so strong. So, this, nice. this, yeah, nice. You're a good man, wow. All right, That's are, fine. are you a vegetarian? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so, so one of the things- Can, that, I, can I put on the other yeah, side? Yeah, and, and you don't, all you sprinkle it from high and even. You don't rub it in. That is a misconception. Can, 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 you, can you give me a rub? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's fine. Ah, it's like, ah, he's strong. Yeah. That's so strong. That's nice. Nice, huh? We do this segment every day. Well, man, you work out. Man, you, I knew you were coming. <laughs> you a big meat eater oh, over here. Wow. So what are the different techniques of cooking the ribs? So, so the first thing is, is when we season it, when we rub it, it's not actually a rub. You season it from high so it kind of gets into the meat. Okay. If you rub it on, it, it, it like seals the pour so it doesn't let it take on the smoke. Okay. At this point now, if you have a smoker or a grill, you get the grill or the smoker to about 275 to 300 degrees. You would put the meat in, you would let it smoke. Ribs like this would take about three, four hours. If you don't have a smoker, you could put them in your oven, let them roast and do that way too, but then you don't get the beauty of the smoke. Of the, so you want to, if you can get it on a smoker, that's the way to go. Yeah, I use fruit woods, like apple woods, cherry woods, because that's what I like. Now, there's not a whole lot of meat on the ribs, and one issue that I have when I make ribs is that is getting dry. How do you keep them from getting dry? Well, you know, uh, one of the keys is, is you, you know, you don't overcook them. Okay. That's one thing, but also, when, right when they come off the grill, what I like to do is wrap them in foil. Okay. So you wrap them right after they come off, and then you can keep them, if you have people coming over, you want to keep them hot, get a cooler, Put a hot rag in the cooler, your ribs wrapped in foil, put those in the cooler, they will stay hot for about three hours. You wouldn't call that a cambro by any chance, would you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's pretty you, good. No, you're good. That, yeah, you're that? good. You're good. Cambro, baby. I know what a cambro is. And then you could just finish them on the grill. So one of our little magic tricks for our ribs is the what base. What did you just put in there? So I put pickle juice. So pickle it's juice, equal part brown pickle sugar. juice and brown sugar. And this is a, like a pickle juice simple syrup. I hope you hear those New Yorkers moaning out here. Oh, I know. So <laughs> I don't use pickle juice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We, oh no, I don't use that. <laughs> we ferment. So, so what we do is I, I put these on the grill to finish them. I hit them with a little bit of that pickle juice wow. while they're hot. So then they get a little bit of sweet, but they also get a little bit of bite. Mm. And then we take these babies off. And what I do, again, no Those spare sauce. ribs? Yeah, these are spare ribs. You could go baby back or you could go a St. Louis cut. I like a St. Louis cut because okay. I think it has more flavor than a baby back. Okay. So then oh my gosh. we just cut straight down. Right through oh, those bones. Hurry. And, and we're not, we don't sauce, but we put some sauce on the table if you like it. That's in, your homemade stuff. In, in Cleveland, we're known for our ballpark mustard. Like oh. when, you, when you go to a baseball game in Cleveland, you don't get yellow mustard here. You get brown mustard. Brown mustard. So we That's make a brown great. mustard. This is oh, our. So here, a yeah. little bit of brown mustard is the base and all kinds of other seasonings, but this is kind of our sauce. Oh, that's so good. So all right, get in there. I'm gonna get in there, but I'm gonna give one to my audience too. Oh my gosh, they're so tender. <laughs> Some ribs? Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Look at that. See, and this is how I like the barbecue. I just put a little bit on the board. You know, we have a little bit of slaw. Michael, here. listen to me right now. This is so good, I want to give you a kiss. I <laughs> I mean, so wait. I can, it's unbelievable. 